Hey everyone, welcome to my new video about superheating buckyballs or neodymium spheres. Now I made a video about uh, these neodymium spheres a while back where I demonstrated them in some slow motion. So like the title of the video describes, it's time to actually superheat these things up to see what happens. Now I'm using a blowtorch to heat them up because this is probably the easiest way to get heat on the magnets and I don't recommend you do this at home. I'm wearing safety protection on my eyes at least and I'm professional. <laughs> Just kidding, I'm not actually professional but I don't recommend you do this at home. Now before this magnetic cube of spheres gets too hot, I like you guys at home to actually try and guess what's going to happen and why. I start gradually heating up the cube but I run into a little issue right about now where the gas actually runs out on this blue blowtorch but lucky I had a spare one just in case. So we're back in action and ready to heat up these spheres. As you can see from the previous blue blowtorch, there's quite a bit of singed uh, paint on the actual spheres from the non-chip spheres anyway. Uh, this is actually the heat from the blowtorch melting the, the green paint on the, metal, on the metal spheres themselves. You can also see flames sort of erupting from the sphere. This isn't actually the neodymium that's on fire, this is just all the paint and the flammable things flammable chemicals within the paint that are burning away. As you can see, gradually as I heat up the cube, little spheres are falling off the corners and off the faces. And this is actually because when you heat up ne neodymium, you don't even need a high temperature. I'm sort of, the blowtorch is real overkill here. The actual magnetization goes away. Now you guys can enjoy me blasting this cube with some nice high heat. I'll also just take this chance to say that you can buy some neo balls or magnetic spheres. Um, I've got. I'll put a link link in the description if you want to grab some yourself. If you guys are really enjoying this video, I'd appreciate if you could like, share and subscribe so I can keep producing more of these awesome videos for you. So as you guys can see, there's no green left, there's no cube left, there's virtually no magnetization on these little balls left, and that's what happens when you actually heat them up. Here's a quick before shot of, pretend they were blue anyway, a quick before shot of when they were blue and what they are now. And right now I'm just testing um, their sort of magnetization properties. They're still, you know, they still obviously attract to magnets, but they're not actually magnetic themselves. I also just briefly washed them up here, and I want to do some quick comparisons to the actual blue Neo balls I've got to see um, how they behave. So let's do a quick drop test. In my left hand, I'm holding the, the green balls that we just burnt, and in my right hand are the actual blue neo balls. And you'll see now when I drop them what happens. Bam, there you go. All magnetization is virtually lost. Maybe a few are left over. And here's a quick comparison between the actual magnets that were 
being un under the influence of the heat against actual ball bearings. So if you want to buy some expensive ball bearings, <laughs> you can essentially buy some Neo balls, Bucky balls or neodymium spheres and set them on fire. 